That's half nine in the morning. Just taking the car off charge. So that is 100% charged, funnily enough. And uh, we're gonna spend a bit of time in Cardiff and then we actually probably don't need to charge until Aberystwyth tonight. First time yet. Yeah, this works totally fine. Right, we're just about to set off to Aberystwyth from Cardiff, but setting a waypoint on the sat nav. So 100% charge, and we should make it to Aberystwyth on one full charge anyway. Right, I've just come up the valleys from Cardiff um, to near Merthyr Tydfil and um, Dowlais. And uh, the reason I'm here is that this town, this steelworks behind, has a direct connection to this electric car. So the motor and inverter system is come from a company called GKN. So GKN motor and inverter on the Fiat 500e. And it was here in Dowlais that um, GKN, one of the predecessor companies to GKN, was founded. So um, this is really this car's drivetrain spiritual um, <laughs> home here in the valleys in Wales. So it's quite cool. Um, GKN is one of the oldest companies in Britain and uh, this is where it all started here uh, in Dowlais which unfortunately is now rather beautiful but abandoned. Well, I'm uh, in the car park of the hotel in Aberystwyth. Unfortunately, no destination charging here, but uh, still got 34% battery. So that's 34% coming up all the way from Cardiff, um, stopping off in the valleys and uh, lovely drive. And it's so good to be in an EV. So not particularly exciting day for charging today. Well, there's not gonna be any. We're probably gonna to charge tomorrow at Tesla or something like that. I haven't quite decided what to do, but there's loads of charging here in Aberystwyth. It's uh, really good. Um, well, not really good, but it, it's adequate. There's, there's a few charges on street, a lot of charges at the, universe, at the um, National Library of Wales. Um, Tesla superchargers, supermarkets, that kind of thing. It's certainly better than a lot of other places. But yeah, what a great experience driving an EV through Wales. I mean, it's just fantastic. You get, you climb up the mountains, there's effortless power, uh, really, really good um, driving. It's fun driving, going up and coming back down, you're just getting that energy back. You know, if I was in an internal combustion engine car, I would just be literally wasting wasting that energy into uh, heating up the brake pads and discs. Um, you don't get it all back, obviously, but uh, the economy was about five and a half miles per kilowatt hour, um, all the way from Cardiff, pretty much to here. So um, I just can't knock it. You know, I've still got a third of the battery left um, and that's, you know, pretty much two, two and a half hours solid driving. Okay, yeah, it's not motorway speeds, but uh, just just a really nice day of driving. So, um, yeah, I'm going to have a, a think about what to do about charging. Um, but so far, it's been really plain sailing. Glad I got the overnight charge in Cardiff last night because uh, it's just meant that I've not had to think about it at all today and just parked up in the car park and uh, yeah tomorrow it will sort of fall into place up okay i'm in an avarice with car park and i'm going to put the car on charge and whilst i do that i'm going to talk to you about the benefits of destination charging because as you know i've got 34 percent charge left and uh Really, it'd be nice to wake up and have a full charge like I did last night. And 
there's this charger very near the hotel. Now, I did book the hotel with this in mind. Um, I don't know, I've, I don't know how easy this will be to use, but we'll have a go. So we pop that in there. And I'm going to try plugging it in first. Awkward to do one-handed, but there we go. I'm going to try and scan the QR, the, uh, ooh, there we go. Okay, so that worked straight away, which is good, um, but yeah, so I'm on charge now, um, this is an 11 kilowatt charger, so three phase, you can see the three phases here. So why am I using this charger? and not the Tesla supercharger, this charger is 65p per unit why am I using this one and not Tesla um, which is 37p a unit, well the fact is that Tesla I'd have to wait around and this I can leave 100% I can leave um, for the next leg of the journey with 100% charge um, whereas Tesla I'd probably have to stop charging realistically at 85% so in the morning I'll have 15% more charge, I won't have to wait around, and I'll have 100%, you know, I'll just be ready to get off in the, in the morning. Okay, I'm probably going to move back into the hotel car park to load the car up, but um, this is more convenient, I have to say. I'm happy to pay a bit extra. I wouldn't normally, but this time it, it does make sense to me to pay a bit more, so yeah, mad really. But um, I did really sort of debate whether it was best to charge here or at Tesla. Um, it was a choice between those two, both fairly nearby. Um, but, you know, Tesla's sort of out on a trading estate, so I'd have to stop and spend more money at McDonald's or whatever. Here I can have breakfast, whatever, set off, get straight on the road, 100% charge, won't have to stop for hours. Um, to charge, so the bull's much more in my court at uh, this charger. Um, so, yes, next leg of the journey tomorrow, next episode. So, keep an eye out for that one. So, thanks for watching.